Okay, we'll continue now by going through some of these new features here within 7.5. Along the way though, I will be pointing out some of the existing features that weren't covered in other GRU3 courses. Remember, so far, I've said I've made a composite vocal file from a couple of original audio files. Well, I deleted the original two tracks, simply to save some space here within the user interface. But really, I should have used the new visibility tab that's now present adjacent to the inspector. So that's what we're going to look at in this tutorial and in the following tutorials as well. We'll look at track visibility and also how we use something called agents to facilitate what we do see on the screen suitable to us at certain times. Now you'll remember from earlier on, if you click on here, this allows us to filter out certain types of track from view. Once we select it, then we see that we have these options of what to display. At the moment, we are displaying all track types, but if I wanted to remove the audio tracks from view, and only from view, rather than deleting them, then simply deselecting here now removes all my audio tracks from view, as predicted. And at the moment, at the top of our track list, we see all these different MIDI tracks, but headed right at the top by this Group Tracks folder. Okay, now next to this button, remember we see this number, and at the moment we are displaying 54 out of 54 visible tracks. Now we know at the moment that we've hidden from view our audio files. If I want to add to this, then I need to click on here once more, and then I'll deselect one of these other categories, MIDI tracks for example, then as a result of that, the audio and the MIDI tracks are removed from sight, and our number count up here now displays 33. And you'll remember if we want to revert back to where we were, click on here once more and select all track types. But there will be occasions during your workflow whereby you want to remove certain tracks from view and not all from that category. For example, this one here, the composite vocal that we've talked about a few times already. Well, this is an audio track, of course. I'm just going to mute it. Well, if I want to hide this particular track and not all the other audio tracks, how do I go about doing this? Well, there is a way to do this, I'll get to it in a moment. But first of all, I want to show you this visibility tab here, just to the right of our inspector tab. Once we select it, then we see every single track running down here vertically, clearly corresponding with what we see on our track list. And also included, conveniently, the group tracks here. If we click, then that reveals what's inside that particular group tracks folder. And if I simply want to remove the group tracks from view, deselect here within the visibility tab, and we'll notice on our track list, of course, the group tracks folder disappears from view too. Once it is deselected, then of course up here, where we saw that we had 73 tracks a moment ago, well, as a result of that, we now only have 66 visible, because we've hidden those group tracks from view. Selecting it once more, of course, brings it back into view, and our track count is now increased to 73 from 73. Now let me just deselect group tracks once more, and of course we now revert back again to 66 from 73. If you want a quick and convenient way of bringing all your tracks back into view, and you've not got your visibility tab open, well by clicking on these numbers here, simply left click, that immediately brings back into view all of your tracks. They're all now visible. Okay, now just getting back to what I said a moment ago about hiding a particular track, an individual track, rather than the whole category. Well, this Chris vocal track, this composite vocal track, if I mute it, that's fine, we won't be able to hear it upon playback, but I actually want to remove it from view. I don't want to delete it, I simply want it removed from view, but without hiding all the audio tracks. Now I'm going to go through this in much more detail in a later tutorial, but for the moment, one way that we can do this, come over to your visibility tab once more, and then simply right click. Now you don't need to right click on the particular track that you are focusing on, anywhere will do. So simply right click and that will curl up into view all these options. You'll notice the third one down, hide selected tracks. If I clicked on here, then any tracks that I've got selected would of course be hidden. So that's one way of doing this. However, there is another method. Because I've got that Chris vocal track muted, I can roll down to this operation, hide muted tracks. So I'll do that, I'll select it. And of course, as a consequence, our track is now made invisible. Do bear in mind though, even though it's not visible to us, we've only muted it, which means yes, of course we won't hear it, but it is still using your CPU. And as a result of it being made invisible, then of course within the visibility tab, you can see that that track, Chris Composite Vocal, has now got its radio button deselected. 
and up here within our track count, we now see that what is visible are 72 tracks out of a possible 73. So just keep your eye on that when you are working with the project. If the two numbers don't balance, then of course you've got some tracks hidden. And that's all well and good if that's what you wanted, but to remind you, be aware that just because you can't hear a track doesn't mean it's not using up some of your precious CPU. Right, I'm going to leave it here then, now that we've got started looking at track visibility, and we'll pick up again in the following tutorial where we'll look at this further.